Advances in Health, I'm Rebecca Stewart. We are talking about ankle pain. We're on our ankles all the time, and we have an orthopedic surgeon specializing in foot and ankle here with us, Dr. Adam Ferguson from the Connecticut Orthopedic Institute at Mid-State Medical Center. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca. So we have this great model here that we're looking at. So why does someone have ankle pain? So when we talk about the ankle, we're talking about the joint between the tibia, which is the shin bone, and the talus, which is the top bone in the ankle. And when you get pain in this joint, it can come from a lot of things, but mm -hmm. a very common cause is arthritis. And what that means is the cartilage between these two bones or the smooth surface has worn out. That can happen for a number of reasons. Sometimes it's genetic, sometimes it's activity related, but most commonly in the ankle is because of trauma. And trauma can be something small, like you rolled your ankle a bunch of times as a kid, or it can be something larger, like you had a bad injury, such as a break or something that needed surgery. And that leads to arthritis down the road. Mm -hmm. What is fascinating to me is that you are saying nowadays, only for those who really, really need it, there are actually ankle replacements. Tell us what that is. What an ankle replacement is, is I would take out the bottom part of the tibia, or mm -hmm. the shin bone, and the top part of the talus, because all that bone is worn out when the cartilage is gone, mm -hmm. and replace that with a combination of metal and plastic components. So obviously medical grade steel and polymer components that hold up very well for a long period of time, and replace the actual damaged structures with essentially a new ankle. Who would be a candidate for that? So that's another good question. Uh, best candidates for this are younger active people that mm -hmm. still have some ankle range of motion, but are having trouble doing things they enjoy. You know, if you can't go and walk the dog, you can't play with your grandkids, those type of people that are still, you know, in their 60s and 70s and want to see if there's something other than an ankle fusion, which is the old way we used to do things. And that was basically taking this bone and growing it to this bone so you didn't have any motion left there. If you would like to learn more, head to wtnh.com slash advances in health.